Hey guys and girls, welcome back to uh, <coughs> Legend of Heroes SC. I'm a Star Bright. I'm a member of the Bracers Guild. Estelle, eh? Dang, even your name is cute. Or, hang on. You said the Bracers Guild? Yeah, I'm a newly minted senior bracer. Might be hard to believe after seeing me break down like that, though. No, not at all. Now that you mention, you do kind of look loaded for bear. For bear? You a martial artist of some kind? I guess you could call me that. I focus on this, on staff combat. Though you said you're a priest, Kevin. I do appreciate the shoulder, but I gotta admit, you don't look much like any priest I know or would trust usually. Ah, <laughs> kazing! Through the chest, my dear, madame. Well, I'll admit that us wandering priests are sheep of a different color. Wandering what now? Well, okay. You know how there's villages and farms and whatnot without churches, right? My order heads to such places at set times each year and offers church services and teaches Sunday school. Think of it as home delivery churning or something like that. Churching. It. Huh? I never knew there were priests like that, but it does make a lot of sense. And unlike church-bound priests, there's a lot of us who are more carefree about dress code. The, thir the church just got... kind of... The church just kind of lets, lets us do our own thing. Uh, well, fair enough, I guess. So, Kevin, I guess you're off to some village somewhere? Nah, not immediately. I actually only just arrived in Liberal like today. The high seat dispatched me here, since apparently there's not enough wandering priests around right now. Oh, really? Okay, then. The high seat. They mentioned that in Sunday school, but I don't remember where. It's the holy city of Arteria, in the middle of the continent. Anyway, I figured I'd do a bit of sightseeing before I went and reported my assignment to the Bishop of Grandsell Cathedral. And, well, here I am. Uh, that seems just a bit irresponsible to me. You really are kind of a half-baked priest, aren't you? Hey, it's cool. I'm checking out the places I'll be wandering to in advance. Besides, I got to meet a troubled and lovely young woman. This is surely a blessing for my ideals. Praise be to her name. Yeah, smooth recovery there. But really, thank you, either way. Letting it out, all out helped to clear my head a bit, I think. Seriously, I'm being a ninny. I should trust Joshua. He won't do anything stupid. Huh? Who? Oh, uh, Joshua is my, b my um, brother. Sort of, in a sense. He disappeared suddenly, which has been a bit of a shock. Disappeared, huh? You mean he ran away from home? <laughs> no, no, no. He just went back home, ahead of the rest of us. I mean, he's family. He wouldn't just run off on his own. I see. Really, though, what was I thinking? Worst mistake ever telling him how I felt, especially at that moment. Next time I see him, I'll have to make up some kind of excuse about that. Hey, Estelle. Huh? Well... Well, like I was saying, I'm basically just a tourist without a plan or a clue right now, so... How's about I land with you in Rowland and make sure you get home safely? Why? I feel like he could sort of get the guys that... She's not gonna find Joshua at home. No way. No hell. I'm curious, though, if, um... The scene that she seen, um, that we seen at the end of, uh, the, um, of the first game is, is gonna play out. Like, like she finds, um, I think it was like Joshua's watch or something back at the house, which, like, sprung her to kind of find, find, uh, find him. 
Spoiler alert, of course, if you haven't seen my playthrough. I don't know why you haven't watched it. It's so good. Ah, smell that fresh air. So this is Roland, huh? Gotta admit, though. Feels a bit like a backwater farming village with an airship dock dropped on it. Well, excuse the heck out of us for living in the, bo the boonies. At least we're big enough to have our own church, Mr. Totally pretending to be a holy man. Oh, I'd better go pay my respects over there once we're done. So still, which one of these fine boonie shacks is yours? Uh, setting the boonie shacks bit aside, you really don't need to escort me home, you know. It's just outside town, and crying fits aside, I am, I am a bracer. I can take care of myself. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. It's the duty of us real manly men to make sure a lady gets home safely. Besides, I'm looking forward to meeting this boyfriend of yours. <laughs> but boyfriend isn't the term I think I'd use. M maybe. But fair enough. I guess I'll fix you some tea or something when we get there. And I get free tea out of the deal. Victory again. Well, lead the way. He's not in the party, is he? I don't think the party's really sat, right? Or is it? No, he's not. Okay. Alright. See if I remember where uh, their house is. Shouldn't be that hard to find, though. It's been a bit, but... It's, it all, it's all coming back to me. I remember this beautiful town. Um, how do I bring up the map? The, no, the... Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, uh, uh, it's either from Milch or Elise, I'm pretty sure, one of the two. Um, let's try going, just going straight down. Elise Highway! City of Roland, Scrooge, West, yeah, Bright Family House. Wee. Ah, the memories. The Bright Family House. Ah, so this is your place to sell? It's got to How to put this? A warm, homey feel to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. This place holds a lot of memories for me. For Dad. And for Joshua, too. So I can see. And you think Joshua's going to be just inside, right? Yeah, I'm sure he is. Come on, I'll introduce you to him. He'll he'll like you, I think. He knows there ain't nobody in there. Man, who is this guy? The number he's done, he's done on her. Well, let's get this over with. Adios gives her strength. Joshua, I'm home. You're back, right? Nope. That's weird. I'm sure he must be here. Uh, maybe he's in Dad's study. Aw. Oh, she's so in denial, it's terribly sad. J Joshua? Oh, wait, duh. It's possible he's in my room looking for something, right? Did I leave some underwear or something laying around? Uh, my room's clean, at least. Though Joshua probably wouldn't care about a few panties here and there. So... She's gonna break down in his room, isn't she? I feel it. Joshua, I'm coming in, okay? <sighs> oh. Of course. Makes sense. 
I'm such an idiot. So your boyfriend's not here, huh? Or, hey, maybe we missed him? He came back, then headed out to town for a bit, and then we passed by each other without realizing. No. <sighs> You've accepted it, then? I... Really, I knew somewhere deep down. I knew he'd really left. There was no way he'd come back home for any longer than a few moments. Right. But this room... Was it? It was my last hope. I have no idea where else he could be at all. So, this is the end. I'll never see Joshua again, ever. <clears throat> Ain't it a bit early to be giving up that easily? Huh? In the end, the only one who knows whether we're destined to meet someone again here or beyond is Idios herself. Just because you think fate's against you, there's no reason to give up. The question then, Estelle, is this. What do you think you can do about it? But, but, I don't even have any leads to follow. No leads at all? You sure? I don't know your boyfriend, of course, but... Nobody I know would disappear without some reason. <clears throat> what are you... Was there anything weird in how he talked or acted towards you recently? Or maybe something strange had been happening with him lately? Something only you, who've been with him so long, would pick up on. Hey! <clears throat> the Grand Master, Lawrence, all that stuff, yeah? Oh yeah, of course! Joshua started acting weird, right? After I got back to that spot where we were resting. What the? Why is my head fuzzy? Why can't I remember who I met along the way? I did meet someone. Hey, you okay? You went white as a sheet there. <sighs> yeah, I think so. Now I get it. Joshua went off to stop the foul magician. If the person I met then was that magician, then that person was the one actually behind the coup in Colonel Richard's memory trouble. And that magician must still be planning something else in Liberal. But that means if I can stop him as a bracer, maybe, just maybe. So you realize what's going on? Dad! Scara! Why are you here? Sorry, Estelle. When we touched down, I took the liberty of contacting the guild's Grand Cell branch on the sly. Oh. Estelle, honey. You scared the pants off of us running away like that. We were at the Grenzel Guild House trying to find you when the call came in. We barely managed to catch a departing freight liner under here. Uh, I'm sorry. Just as Skarazot said, I'm glad you're safe, Estelle. Now then, Father Kevin, was it? I appreciate your contacting us. You have my deepest thanks for letting us know where Estelle was. Nah, don't worry about it. My fault for butting into family matters, really. Uh, um... Dad, I... No, Estelle. The one who needs to apologize is me. It was nothing more than my eagle talk... Eagle. <laughs> eagle talking. When I told you to stay away from Uroboros. I was simply forcing my opinion as a man as your father onto you. Skarazad made the point. Uh, quite clear on our trip over. Skara. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, Estelle. I'm completely behind you on this. In all honesty, I thought I'd prepared for this day for a long while. But losing him is worse than I could have even imagined. Thus I... If nothing else, I wanted to keep you from walking the path of thorns which now lies before us. I couldn't bear the thought of you sharing Lena's fate. Of you losing your life to protect someone else. That is an insult, not just to you, but to your mother as well. Understand now, as terrifying as the possibility still seems to me. Dad. I will be too busy with the work of rebuilding the military to act on my own. I fear that is exactly why they will act now. This time I really won't be able to help you, Estelle. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. I know I've still got a lot to learn, but I don't see any other way. So I'll do it. I'll put a stop to whatever horrible thing this Ouroboros has planned, and I'll bring Joshua back home. I see. 